Hi guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So, as you guys know, I am getting ready to move. Moving in to Big Dad's house, so I have a lot to do. Um, the pet room, as you can see, is pretty much the same. I haven't moved anything in here yet. But I have been working on getting a lot of stuff I don't use every day ready to go. So I thought I'd vlog the move and show you guys my packing and getting rid of and just the whole process. So I'll go ahead and show you what I've done so far. Alright, so I'm in the doorway of the pet room. Obviously there's vacuum. This is a pig's travel cage. Needs cleaned out from their last trip. Get ready for their final trip. The next trip that the pigs make will be the last one and they will be permanently at Pig Dad's house. So I guess this is also going to be a really awful apartment tour. <laughs> but here's my living room. So you can ignore my really dirty coffee table, but this is all stuff that needs to go. So this is all packed and ready to go. This is the second load that will be going. Pig Dad took a whole bunch of stuff back with him today since he has a truck. So this is the load I'm going to try to fit in my car and take with me next weekend. And then, if you believe it, this disaster right here is all stuff I'm getting rid of.
moving update. Got the whole bottom of this closet cleaned out. This has our bluegrass in it. And then we have our Timothy hay. And I gotta work on all this. But all the fleece is gone except for what we need for this week. Chair's gone, fleece is gone. Putting the decorations away. Here are the piglets. This will be their last week and last clean in this cage as Lily rearranges. All right. All right guys, so now it's July 27th. The pigs are moving this weekend and I am moving next weekend. So the pig room is very different. So that box is trash. I got their food and all the stuff out of their closet ready to go. Gotta clear that out still. Don't know how I'm gonna clear that out, but I might just tape around it and try to carry that down how it is. Um, the closet. Is empty. If I can get close enough. The closet. Is empty. Except for the hay. I have all that care fresh. <laughs> out. I'm just taping these shut um, and we're going to take them how they are because they're not super full because I'm working on laundry right now. There are pellets to go. A lot of the stuff in the pet room is hard because it can't be like boxed up. So I'm just kind of going to carry a lot of it down one trip at a time. So the pigs are all still in their cage obviously. Pig dad's coming up tonight. We're going to load up and then tomorrow morning the piglets get to move for good. I'm gonna take that shelf down too. The piglets get to move. They're gonna be in kind of a temporary floor cage for a week until the cage gets moved because um, we're not gonna try to carry this down, the DIY, because it's really heavy. So I'm having movers come next weekend and they're going to be in charge of carrying that along with all my other furniture, so. We're using that at the new place, of course, and then all this will come down and come with me next weekend. So hopefully this room will be empty by the end of today, I guess. And then there's this disaster out here that I'm not going to show you. But so that is the update on the pigs. Pigs are moving this weekend, moving for good. No more trips on the weekends to Pig Dad's. No more two hour car drive, car rides. So, it's getting, getting going, getting excited. I'll keep you guys updated. So I did want to talk about one thing. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do about their vet because I really, really like the vet we have here. And I think what I'm gonna do is find an exotic vet in my new town for emergencies or things that need to be seen immediately and then for surgeries or second opinions or anything like that we will be coming back up here to our vet that we have now she's just a really good exotics vet she's a lot of experience she's written some textbooks um, she's pretty good so we're gonna try to keep using her unless it becomes extremely inconvenient or something like that but I would like my new veterinarian to consult with her possibly if that's something they're willing to do so we will see how that turns out we'll have to go try some new vets in our new town it is a three hour drive up here to the vet from where we're moving to so I don't know how feasible my plan is going to be but we're going to try so I will keep you guys updated on this moving process there will probably be a part two coming um, after next weekend when all the furniture and everything gets moved and then I can kind of show you a pre, kind of preview of what the setup is going to be in the new house for the pet room. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I will keep you guys updated. There will be a part two of this moving vlog, maybe in a couple weeks, maybe next week. I'm not quite sure yet. Depends on how things go next weekend with moving and how things go this weekend with moving. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Find us on Instagram at the Tiny Herd. 
please like and subscribe comment down below if you have anything you want to talk about anything to add and i will see you guys in my next video bye